What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Ecocalypse video. All right, so we have something I want to talk about today, especially regarding a specific unit that is going to be end game for a very, very long time and why you want to focus on her after you start focusing on Aiken for your DPS. So we did a Aiken versus Kiki um, breakdown. If you haven't checked out the video, go check it out. Just remember Aiken does dominate a lot more later on in the game when you get her dupes. Everything in this game is really going to be dependent on dupes. Now, free to play, it's a little bit intimidating, it's scary, but don't fret. This is a marathon, like I said. Once you get Aiken copy, you can put her in advance and summon for her. But the unit I actually want to talk about today is not Aiken. As a matter of fact, it's going to be Audrey. Now, Audrey is one of the top tier units in the game. And I want to explain to you guys what makes her so damn special and why you want to focus on her next after you get Aiken to maybe four star, three stars if you can, three or four stars specifically, uh, being able to cast that ultimate twice. Now, Audrey brings a lot to the table that most units do not. So I'm going to break this down to you guys. I'm going to explain to you, number one, her kit and why it's so important. And then number two, where you want to position her in your team and why you want to do this. Okay, so you guys can see here, my Audrey is only just a regular uh, zero dupe star character. So you guys can see the skills here as pretty straightforward. It's all basic, but I'm going to go down the skills a little further so you guys can have a better understanding of what makes her so special. So Audrey breaks down with her, just her active. Audrey breaks the enemy formation, dealing 126 damage to one random enemy with a 10% chance to silence. Silence is great, but unfortunately 10% chance is really low. But as you get more into it, you get up to 30%, which is not bad. Uh, can save your life here because it can stop uh, an opponent from casting an ultimate. Pretty damn good, but of course the percentage is super, super low. What makes her really powerful is her, her, is her special, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Her, let's go to her passive. Audrey takes the lead and meets the battle with full rage. She starts the battle. Uh, first time her HP falls well into 30%. She increases all allies attack by 10% for two rounds. And this, of course, will increase um, as you go further up in terms of tiers. Very important. And, I'll, and this, this move, this passive here is extremely crucial for where you want to position her and your team and i'll talk more about positioning very shortly okay so let's go to her ultimate and talk about the special and what makes this so damn good so as at a zero star right audrey casts a spell to support her teammates granting back row allies regen for two rounds 50 percent chance to add two rage for all all targets okay so you don't want her in the back. You actually want her in the front. And, and I'll show you guys the reasoning behind it. At the start of each round, recovers HP equal to 178% of the attack of the player's attack. So she not only applies regen, which is scaled off of her attack, keep that in mind. Uh, so you do want to actually have an attack build. So she does regen a little more than just a regular HP build. I'm currently using HP build because I'm free to play and I don't have the dupes yet. But I'm going to be switching her to an attack build gear set so I can get more of that regen, right? But this 50% chance to add two raids for all targets are, is pretty damn crazy, okay? So um, here's why this is so important, okay? I'm going to go through this shortly. As you get more dupes for her, and this is why you want more dupes, that 50% chance at one star goes to 60% chance, and that regen increases further. Now, once you start getting to the three stars, this is where things open up a lot more for her support abilities. Audrey casts a spell to support her teammates. She grants two, re two rage for um 70 percent chance rather than 50 or 60 which is still a pretty big difference but now she also increases the crit of the target with the highest attack by 20 percent for one round so if you have a unit that scales off of crit really well and has the highest attack on your team she's now increasing that crit rate by 20 percent allowing you to apply more crit obviously to the opponent now when you get to the five star point it gets even crazier because it's 80% chance and then 30%. And then, of course, this is going to be more whale territory. As a matter of fact, this is probably at this point dolphin territory. But once you get to start getting to whale territory, you'll see here the crit of the target increases to 35, 35%, 90% chance. And, of course, the seven stars, it's, it's insane. This is going to be the most long-term. Free-to-play may never even get here, to be honest. But you don't necessarily need it here. This is more going to be for, like, PvP purposes, etc. But... Audrey casts a spell, you give 100% chance of two rage for all targets, increases the crit of the target with the highest attack by 40% for two rounds, and then the HP of the back row targets with less than 50% HP is restored to 50%. The single recovery value does not exceed 1,000% of Audrey's attack, which is still nuts. And then you can see here, the 229 of attacks is pretty wild. So, the rage recovery is insane. So this is how you want to kind of position her and the reason behind it, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys the reason behind it as well because I think that's important for you guys to note. 
Let me go back to my squad and go to the deployment. And we're going to talk a little bit about positioning because I think this is going to be a, uh, a crucial thing for your gameplay and development. Now, this is my current squad, okay? Within this squad, there are two units that instantly have full rage outside of Audrey, okay? And you want those units to use their rage before Audrey does any form of recovery. So here is the, here's the, the, the mental process behind this. Kiki goes first. She does Tsunami because she has full rage to start with as part of her passive. So she does her special. So now she has less special bar, right? Or she has no special bar. I can also starts with full rage and she also does her special. Goes back to no bar. This is where Audrey comes into effect. These units in the back here do not have their specials. They have two rage though. So if she gives the 50% chance to give these guys two rage, each of these units can now perform their specials. None of them have that current full rage setup, okay? Now the beauty here is Audrey has a 50% chance to also recover Kiki's and Iken's rage as well, giving them the opportunity to do a basic or active attack and then the next turn have enough rage to do a full attack, full special again. And this is why positioning matters so much. Now the way positioning works, if you haven't noticed, is that the first will go first, second will go second, third will go third, fourth will go fourth, fifth will go fifth, and so on, right? So based on where you have your units, that's the order of attack that they're going to perform. So let me kind of show you guys this in action real quick, uh, and you guys can have a better understanding. Let me see if I have any form of um, patrol or anything that I can do that I can show you guys. Let's see. I think I'm full here. Purification. I have no, I have none, of course. Um, let me see. Sorry, guys. I, I let me see cage fight. Do I have zero? I've been I've been on this like crazy. So uh, remember, this is a full free to play account. So I am teaching you guys free to play methods. I'm not doing anything for whales. Whales will be doing a lot more, and we'll do a full on. Um, I think I need one more. Yeah, I don't I don't have any pots left. I need one more recovery. Oh, perfect. We have eight seconds left. So in seven seconds, I'm gonna edit this part out. Uh, we'll show you guys this in battle, okay, and how it works and why it's so important to use it properly. So there's five. We'll go into an expedition real quick here, and we'll do uh, perfect. We'll do this one, and we'll just I'll just show you guys how this works, okay? So we'll do a regular enemy. We're not gonna skip it. I'll show you guys the actual fight, and we'll slow it down so you guys understand what I'm talking about. So if you look here, tsunami gets done. So you can see here full rage, full rage, two, two, and two, and this is important. The two, two, and two is very important because. That will, if that if they get the two rage right now, see, she's going to go third now. If this rage can connect and give these guys, there you go, two, two, everybody got it. Everybody in the back got it. So you guys can see now they're all going to be, like, they're all going to be casting their specials, right? So you'll see in a second here, right there, see? Fenrir did her special, and now you're going to see Stara do the special as well. So super, super important, guys, to note that that rage there is important to not overlap with the two people who already have full rage. You want Audrey to go after the people who have the full rage setup, okay? So understanding like where you're positioning is very, very crucial to your success and to your DPS. So there you guys have it. Audrey, absolutely focus on after you guys get done with Aiken. Uh, she will be around forever. To be quite honest, I don't see why she you would ever not use her. She's absolutely uh, crucial for for supers and to do specials, and she will like push your DPS output through the roof. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.